Good morning. I thought I'd do a little uh, quick tour of what we're doing in the garden throughout the, the backyard here. I don't usually post videos to Facebook, so I'm feeling a little awkward, but <laughs> I'll just show you what I'm doing. Um, so up towards the front of the house, we're making a new bed, which isn't done. See it right here. It's um, it's not too big, but I ordered some uh, s another set of seeds that will be sort of a secondary, like late harvest. Um, so <laughs> I've got more to do, and I needed some more room. So uh, this still needs to be raked out and everything with the grass tilled up. And then over here, you can see something I was working on for a video, but I dug out this spot right outside the sun porch because this was already sort of soft here. And I planted the wildflowers here for cut flowers and things. And then I have some planters here to do things with for now. And this is the, uh, the dirt <laughs> that I need to uh, do something with. I've kind of been using it for things that, um, I'm planting and needing more soil for. So that's something that is still not sprouting. I just did that last week. And then over here on the other side of the house, I planted flowers right here, dug this bed up, sunflowers all along this back, and then um, some other wildflowers right here. I think bachelor's buttons was one of them. And I have a few other wildflowers, but this might be it for this year. So the other thing I did over here, and I will share with you my first really big gardening mistake. <laughs> it's a learning process. Okay, so this is where I made my... So over here next to the garage, there was a bit of softer area again. The ground is super hard, so it was something I could do. And I thought, well, I'll clean this area up. It's something I can do while... Justin's not home by myself and plant my herbs here was my plan just like a super close to the house could come out and clip off some herbs really quick but <laughs> in theory it worked well and I noticed that it started to to rain really heavily and I noticed the puddles getting bigger and bigger <laughs> and I'm like why why is it flooding <laughs> And what I didn't take into account is that over the garage, I just didn't even think about it, there is no gutter or spout or anything. So nothing to deflect the rainwater. And it just got totally flooded. And so I really don't think that this area will get much of what I planted. So I'm gonna have to replant it. And if anything comes up, it probably will be sort of like mixed in all over the place from being moved around by the rain. <laughs> So that is part of why I wanted a second bed because I'd like to replant some of these herbs that probably aren't gonna work. But I did do thyme, chives, sage, oregano, parsley, cilantro, rosemary, dill, and um, one of the varieties of basil. And I have several varieties. I love basil pesto. Um, so yeah, I don't think that spot will work out. I just, it didn't even cross my mind to think about it. I just thought, here's, here's a soft space I can dig up easily on my own. And of course, tried to do something by myself. <laughs> and I think I messed it up pretty bad. But we'll, we'll replant and we'll try again. Lesson learned. And so I'm going to take you to the back now and just show you what the garden garden's looking like. Over here on the side, I talked about this in one of the videos I filmed that uh, all these flowers back here were blooming just everywhere, even to the far back and over here. And their smell is so strong. I can smell them like all the way back here. And they're called, when I looked them up, they're called something like um, field rose or common briar, you know, but they're, they're so beautiful and they smell so strong and I love them. I don't remember them being here growing up, so I don't know if they're new or what, but they smell amazing. So over here in the main garden, we've got this arches blooming and I'm gonna try and just step in here and kind of show you 
what we've got going on. Now I've got completely different things that I'm planting in the other garden that we just tilled. But over here you can see some cabbages and we had broccolis. Right here was supposed to be cauliflower and the cauliflowers didn't come up at all. So we're gonna redo that. Um, I think that, so we did the cauliflower and broccoli and cabbage when it was um, of April and we got those couple of really cold days a week or two after or so and I think maybe the cauliflower didn't hack that. The broccoli looks to be doing okay so um, we're gonna just probably just redo the cauliflower and go from there but that, there was a little patch there and so the reason we're not weeding right now is because a lot of the things we just planted are about the same size as weeds and we want to wait a couple weeks and not really you know accidentally pull something that's one of our sprouts so we're just going to wait till we can tell the size difference some of these you can like these are all over with this like sort of purplish white in the middle they're kind of everywhere so we know those are weeds um okay so then right here we have carrots these ones are rainbow carrots kind of see them and we've got regular carrots as well. We've got some spinach coming up. We've got bell peppers and a couple different kinds of like California blend and stuff in this area. We've got tomatoes kind of that are all going to come up here. And look at these adorable green onions. <laughs> Over here will be jalapenos, and we've got lettuces and kales over here. You can kind of see these are the red Russian kales starting to come up. Does anyone else think baby sprouts are super cute? <laughs> over here are the sugar snap peas, and they've already started flowering. We did these at the end of April, or April? end of March I don't remember <laughs> I said April for the other one but I I can't remember it might have been the end of yes end of April end of April and so we've got this sort of like fishing wire here if you can see it for them to hang on to and they're doing really well they were the first thing to get really big and they seem to be pretty stable with this fishing wire um, okay what else do we have I wanted to get close too in case you couldn't tell how big these cabbages are. So they're like, <laughs> I've still got my splash pad ticket on from the birthday yesterday. <laughs> I've got a, a size comparison for you here. So they're getting to be a pretty good size. So these spots right in this square are several varieties of tomatoes. And then over here, you can see our pickle sprouts all in a line right there. <laughs> And next to that, we've got pumpkin. These are just going to be mini pumpkins, not big pumpkins. Just the little guys for, for decorative or, you know, holiday use. And then we also have, these ones here are the pickling cucumbers. And these are the regular cucumbers. I think I showed you the pickling ones first. Back over here. We've got one row of watermelon. Can you see them? Boop, boop, boop. And then, let's see, over here are, I believe we did two rows of corn. So these are our little maize babies. And they're looking really good. So like they're getting tall enough now to where we can tell what isn't corn and what is and we can start weeding this area. But all along this fencing here and through, this looks like, um, this is where our green beans start and they kind of go the, this way. So I'll take you that direction. I think we did three large rows of green beans 
and they're doing pretty well. Here's kind of the size they're at. Yep, three, looks like three big rows. You see the little pods on the bottom there. Okay, and then this section where this is all green is unplanted because that's gonna be potatoes and garlic. Um, but I'm waiting for my potatoes to, to cure and dry out and such. Um, okay, one more section. So here is yellow squash. And then over here is zucchini. Just one row of those. I didn't plant too many because um, nobody seems to really like zucchini but me. <laughs> so I didn't want to have a, like a whole ton. But I do expect we'll have some things that I'll be able to share with other people, you know. Um, we put this fencing up, and I know it's not ideal um, because there are some concerns about chicken wire and lead. I, I know that. Um, but honestly, we just did what we could do for this year. It's not our permanent decision. It's really not touching so much the actual soil area. You can see it's like on this border and our plant is all the way over there. Um, so for the most part, it's not really in contact with any of the soil near the vegetables, except maybe the corn. But um, we did what we could afford this year. We spent a lot of money on seeds and everything else that goes into buying a new house that you're making over and stuff. And so I know it's not the ideal best option, but um, we did what we could, you know? And so one day we'll get a, a nicer fence that'll keep the bunnies out, but maybe be a better option. And so lastly, some of the seeds that I got for the other bed, I got baby's breath for my flower area because I love baby's breath so much. It's like my favorite flower, which is so funny because it's like the filler, right? <laughs> And um, I got a couple rhubarbs. Might be too late to plant those, but I have the hardest time finding rhubarb just for like one pie. One pie a year. And so I just got one. I also got some red cabbage because I really want some red sauerkraut to go with the green. And um, a couple different kinds of lettuce than what we have. I like different kinds together, you know? And um, yeah, I can't think of it all right now, but I did find that if you order right now, it's a lot cheaper than if you order when it's before the season starts. And I got them on Etsy and they're on a huge discount. And I also have some seeds from the Free Seed Project, which I think is .org. Um, and they send you some seeds to start out trying some new things in the garden, trying out some new gardening, things like that. And I still have those to plant. And those are mostly herbs and lettuces as well. So. Yeah, I don't remember all what I ordered, <laughs> but uh, I can see how it's addictive. It's fun to watch these things grow and become these little things that didn't exist before. <laughs> and Justin's having a lot of fun with it too. So I just wanted to share that and maybe I'll just put this on YouTube because it's a little longer than I planned. So, um, okay, well, I hope everyone's having an awesome week and chat with you soon.